Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Geek channel. So in this video, I am going to discuss about GitHub, Git fundamentals, Git and GitHub fundamentals. So Git is basically a version control system uh, by which you can uh, control and track your project activities. So uh, some of the other popular uh, version control systems are like Upper Ports and CVS uh, concurrent versioning system and Bitbucket and a few more. Okay. So in this video, uh, I will show you how to install Git, Git software on Windows and a few basic commands uh, to get started with you, to get started with. In case if you are familiar with the installation of software, uh, please skip ahead and check the rest of the video. So let's go ahead and download the Git, Git for Windows. Yeah, so I have downloaded uh, Git from Git for Windows link here. So you can click on, on downloads. I have already downloaded, so I will skip that step. So this is what I have downloaded. So let's start the installation. You can just uh, uh, take all the default uh, default options. You don't have to do anything. Just uh, accept the default uh, options and go ahead. If you want, you can change the location. Else, it is fine. So just click next. Unless you are very familiar with and if you, or if you want to do some customizations, uh, you don't have to change any options. You just select the default options and, and go ahead. So probably it will take a few minutes depending on the speed of the system. Okay, so meanwhile, let's check uh, how to create uh, repositories on the GitHub. So GitHub is an open source uh, service wherein you can create your projects you can post your projects so that uh, multiple people or teams with uh, many people can work on those repositories simultaneously okay so uh, let me show you how to create an empty repository so this is my github page so in the top right corner in case if you don't have an account you can create an account and the top right corner you can see a plus button so click on that so click uh, new repository so you can give, give a name uh, based on your project so let me try to uh, demo yeah so it is available so you can you can keep it public or private in case if it is a personal project and you don't want us to see you can keep it private else you can keep it public and it is always a good idea to keep to add a readme file uh, that and uh, provide some description about the project so that helps others uh, who are going to work on this repository or who is checking this repository. So it will be easy to understand what is this repository is all about. So let's go ahead and create a repository. Yeah, so the demo has been created. So you can see the branches here. So currently there is only one branch, main branch. So it's like a master branch. So it is always a good practice uh, when you are working in a team, it is always a good practice to work on temporary branches. Then once you are confident about that code, once it is reviewed by everyone else, once it is approved, you can merge it to main branch. So we will see that process uh, in the next few uh, minutes. Okay, so installation has been completed. So let's launch the GitHub bash. You can launch directly or you can type uh, here and you can launch from here so i think it should be fine so before we jump in let's see a few more options you can click on the top left corner go to options you can uh, configure the editor uh, settings so let me change it uh, so we can say we can change the background color then we can change the foreground color so uh, you can play around and uh, get the colors for your liking and you can explore a few more options like uh, go to text you can change the font size yeah, let's say 16 yeah so you can change the font settings as well okay so uh, let's get started so let me go to the directory so this is an empty directory so let 
star let's type the first digit command git status so this is very uh, frequently used command so this gives you status about the current repository if there are any changes so here you can see it is not a git repository because we haven't created any git repo here so uh, let's go ahead and uh, download the repo from the server we have created the repo here git demo so there are two options you can go to code here you can either download the zip file and extract it wherever you want or one more thing you can do is uh, copy the url from https then you do git clone yeah. so it will download the source code to the current location yeah. so you can see zip demo has been uh, downloaded so let's go to the demo now uh, let's type save command again git status yeah now it tells you there is nothing to commit your uh, current directory is clean so you don't have any local changes so now uh, we are on the uh, main branch so your current branch is main so you are going to work on the main branch so if you want to work on a different branch you can create a new branch by using the command jet uh, checkout minus b tem so again so git log is a command where you can see the history of your changes so when you see git log yeah this is the initial commit uh, that is done on the github server so uh, okay so one more uh, thing that you need to do is i mean it is a good practice to check the help command always so it, it will give you an overall audio of uh, different commands that are supported different uh, options that you can have with your commands so so you can take a look at these commands so we will discuss a few commands of those so now we are on the temporary branch so let me do some changes so let's edit the readme file which status let's so let's edit the file Changes. So now when we say git status, it will tell you the status of your current repo. So there is a change in readme.txt. We haven't yet committed. So no changes added to commit. So now we need to commit these changes. So for that, we need to git add. First we need to add the file. Then don't worry about the warning. It's uh, Windows and Linux. Like Linux power. So then you can do git commit so in git commit it is always a good practice to have a title about your change and then a small description about the change so this is the title then the description So this is the description then you can press escape key and a colon and save the changes so when you see git log now so you have a commit locally so this is your local commit so it is not yet committed to your github repo on the server so now if you want to push these changes to github server so first we need to uh, let's just check the command. so we need to use git push command but uh, right now it may not work because we haven't yet set up the origin branch so when we say git push it says the current branch temp has no upstream branch so your current branch should be associated with a branch on your server so we can use this command It will associate your temp branch with a remote branch. It will create that means it will create a remote branch on the server. And when you do git push, it will push all your local changes to the server. So git push. So now Yeah, git push has been done here. So 
so when you go ahead and check previously we had uh, previously we had only main branch now you can see temp branch has been added so we can switch to temp branch so now we can see the commit here whatever we have committed now so the change is reflected here so in case we want to see the commit you can check the changes here so it will show you what change has been added in this current commit so now we can go back so as we discussed so it is always a better practice to work on a temporary branch then you can get your core reviewed by other team members then you can once it is approved you can push your changes to the main branch you can merge your changes to the main branch that's how you can manage your uh, project activities and uh, multiple people working on your project so how do we merge this temp to our main branch so there is an option compare and pull request so they say it is a PR PR is pull request so they can be merged because you don't see any uh, conflicts when it is a simple demo you don't have any multiple changes so you don't have any conflicts so now you can create a pull request so you can add uh, reviewers here from your team you can assign so that they will, be, they will get some mail so that they can uh, check this pull request so if you go to pull request So this is the pull request raised by me. So you can uh, review it before we can merge it. So these are the changes in this pull request. In case you want to look at it. So this is what we have modified in this commit. Then we can do review changes. Then let, let's say it looks good to me. So it means it is approved. So you can submit review. So, so it is approved from the reviewers so we can do merge, merge full pull request then confirm merge so now once it is confirmed you can go to your main branch and check if it is merged to main branch or not so main branch we are in main branch so now you can see the readme the main branch the readme has the changes that we have done so that's how we merge your uh, changes to your master or main branch Okay, so let's see a few more exit commands. Uh, let me add, uh, let me do a few more changes. So I have added some changes. Let's see the exit status. So it shows there is a change in readme.md. Uh, let's say for some reason I don't want these changes, I want to do some other changes. So but I want to temporarily save these changes so we can use either check diff it will save in the file that you mentioned so can change this.txt so we can do git status you can, you can see what are the changes in temp changes so temp changes will give you what are the changes that you have done locally So now uh, when you see widget status, you have you still have readme.md, so you can uh, so this is one way of changing your uh, saving your changes locally. There's one more way is you can do git stash. So what does that do? So you do git status now. So the changes in readme have been uh, gone. So it is temporarily saved to uh, some commit. So if you want those changes back, you can do git stash apply so git stash uh, stores the previous changes so when you say git stash apply it will again uh, get you back those changes so you say git status again you can say readme.md so one more thing if, if you want if you don't want your changes you, you want to get rid of your changes then you can do it git checkout then give that file name then it will get rid of those changes so when you say git status those changes have been gone so these are uh, a few more useful commands so now 
let's say uh, the class let's say i want to now if i uh, commit any change using jit commit it will go as a new commit so let's say i want to modify the existing commit so in jit log we have uh, modified readme so i want to modify this same commit instead of uh, creating a new commit so we can do um, let me uh, modify some modify the file So instead of uh, so we need to add the file again. Dot mm -hmm. get add. So here which status will show you uh, green color. It is had readme has been added as a uh, ready for commit. So now when we do git commit, it will go to a different commit instead. We want to modify the existing commit. So git commit hyphen hyphen amend. It will open the uh, old commit so now you can modify your title modify it again give me commit changes you can save again so when you see git log yeah so it won't create a new commit instead it will modify the existing commit again you can push these changes using git push command yeah so these are uh, a few more useful exam uh, commands yeah so apart from that uh, uh, a few more things are like let's say you want to see what is your origin uh, server origin server url so that you can check using git remote minus v it will show you your original github urls so this is the url from where you have downloaded your code and this is where you are going to push your changes so in this case you know, both are same so you can check your branches using git branch minus a it will show you all the branches then you can switch to branches using the checkout main so now you come to your main branch so you can see there is only initial commit so now in server we have two commits in main whereas here we have only initial commit so now i want to update my repo so you can do git pull and replace so it will pull the changes from the server to your local yeah so now when you search log your uh, main branch is up to date so you have your old magic pull request from the temporary branch yeah so uh, then you can explore other commands using git uh, help and you can check uh, a few advanced commands like how to uh, diff uh, different branches or how to diff uh, different commits and how to reset your uh, branches to uh, different commits let's say if love, I want to go back to this commit so I can say I want to go back to initial commit I can say git reset so it will reset to your first commit and you can use the status those changes will be locally available so you can get rid if you don't want those changes you can get rid of those changes using git checkout and then you are, now you are back to your original commit so when you do push again it will go back to your first commit so these are some of the basics of uh, JIT to explore uh, other commands and I hope uh, you have got enough uh, thing to start your first JIT project and all the rest. Thanks for watching. Please do provide your uh, feedback. Thank you.